CSGO has really been getting some love this December. First a new game mode, and now a sprinkling of snow and the return of Militia, after having been out of the game for over a year. Here is the new 10 year coin, which you'll get if you've owned a Counter Strike game on your Steam account for that amount of time or more, and have played it at least once, which will make it the second exclusive item that existing fans of the game have received this month. Here are the 6 new service medals for 2019, which you can get if you reach level 40 by playing the game enough. Redeeming one of these medals will reset you back to level 1, where upon reaching level 40 again will let you receive the next one. You'll have to play the game a lot to get all 6 for a year though. And to make us all feel Christmassy, there's now falling snow on the menu screens, and the chickens are wearing their garish Christmas jumpers. And if you die, the morbid scene will be framed in pretty looking snow. There's a new weapon too. As long as you're not playing any of the competitive game modes, you'll find an endless heap of snowballs near your spawn point. You can equip up to 3 of these, and they behave just like grenades do, only they'll shatter on first impact and deal 5 damage. Much like the Zeus equipping ghosts in the recent Halloween update, this serves as an embarrassing way to kill enemies. They also blind players for a couple of seconds in a way that's not too dissimilar to a budget flashbang. They also emit some nice particles whenever they hit a surface, though at the moment if you throw them too close to yourself it'll sound like you've been hit by them, even though you'll receive no damage. The bomb is now gift wrapped to look like a present. We're all hoping that next year, after the festivities have ended, this will be unwrapped to reveal a new high definition version of the C4. This was used in the game's original trailer and has existed in the game's files for quite a while. Counter Strike class of offensive creator Zool even made a mod that let you use it in game, which I covered in a video a while ago. But alas, when he investigated this new skin, he discovered that it was the same old, lower quality C4 hidden underneath. We can but hope. While Cubbubble a few months ago received a spooky nighttime Halloween theme, Militia has been given the Christmas treatment with a coating of snow. We'll get the obvious out of the way. It's now set at night, or at the very least, late evening. And I know that because of this handy little weather vane, complete with an interactive spinny bit. The sky now looks eerily like the Counter Strike Source version of Havana's, which I was never a fan of, what with all its dark corners and awkward angles, which this map also appears to have and there's a sound of howling wind if you're outside. I like the frozen river texture, which looks suitably shiny. And there's now smoke coming out of the chimney, even though the fire itself isn't lit. Spooky. And while we're at it, although this hut is missing half its roof, there is no snow on the floor inside. Valve please fix. Layout wise, nothing has changed, unless you didn't play on it last year, which might be quite a lot of you. To bring you all up to date, between March and November of 2017, the map was quite a bit different to how it was before 2017. CT spawn was extensively cut back and moved forwards to just over the bridge. You used to be able to run through this area just outside the farm to access the water, which would then lead to the underground tunnels or to the barn. But this has been replaced with a much more accessible path down from near the new hostage rescue zone. In other words, all the old routes through the level are still available, it just takes less time to rotate between them. If CTs take this hut route, they no longer have to duck under this stupid wooden plank that was in the way before. And upon reaching the other end, they now have a nice new door exit, which is a lot less fiddly than the old window route, and the extra opening will make it harder for terrorists to camp around here. Interestingly enough, the door was already in the older version, but had been boarded up and was inaccessible. There used to be a path up on the left side of the house. You can still get up this way, but it requires two jumps. The first from this bench onto the corrugated iron roof, and then from here, over to here. The holes on the roof have been sealed up, making the inside areas considerably safer to navigate. Aside from this, the rest of the house remains the same, until you reach the garage. Taking the tunnel path as CTs used to lead out to the barn outside, but it now leads straight into the garage. The route always went underneath this area, and although there didn't used to be steps here, the floor was still thin enough to be shot through. It's just now this is where the underground tunnel ends. This in my opinion makes the back of the map needlessly large and complicated, and I think the old barn could be done away with completely to tidy things up. That is, if the map remains the way it is right now. Oh and the steps leading to the upstairs garage have been fixed. One thing that has been missing for a year and a half are the map's place names, which are normally embedded into the bot navigation file for the map. This means, no matter how much I butcher the names of all these huts and barns, I'm technically not incorrect. Valve, please fix. Oh and one more thing. The snow provides new gameplay possibilities. Need a smokescreen but have no grenades left? Simply use a Negev to shoot up a snow cloud. Unfortunately there is a bug with this. If the first shot fired is far enough away, then the rest of the shots won't shoot up a cloud either. Valve, please fix this as well. 
I wonder if this push for us to play hostage mode is to entice the new free to play audience to give the game's other modes a chance. Battle Royale may have been the gateway game mode that got them into the game, but they may eventually move to the more hardcore elements, like competitive matchmaking. Apologies for this video being a bit late, I was on a winter vacation of my own, but now I'm back, and I will work tirelessly through the rest of this month to give you more content. Merry Christmas.